Welcome back to Cinemation today. I will explain the movie Cashback, which I made in 2006. Beware of spoilers. The movie opens with an art class where students are drawing a portrait of a naked man. This classroom also housed the main actor in this movie. Ben is his name. Ben was an incredible artist. Then we found out that Ben's girlfriend had just split with him. His girlfriend was Susie. Ben was so distraught over his breakup with Susie that he couldn't concentrate on anything and was also suffering from insomnia. He can't sleep at night because of this for the past few days. He stayed up late at night. He finally went to the supermarket to get some groceries. He saw a sign in the market. The night shift was being filled, and Ben joined the store to do the night shift. There were also four other people there. One of the workers was a girl named Sharon. While Barry and Matt were both male, these two men were so irresponsible, they would always place adult toys in the trolleys of women customers. They would then wonder if they had ever put it in their trolley when they went to check out. Some customers would still buy it. Sharon was Sharon's first encounter, and Ben fell in love with Sharon instantly. We can also say that Sharon was a little interested in Ben. Ben was still bored when he worked alone and couldn't concentrate on his job. Because of his boredom, Ben began to imagine that he could freeze time. He could freeze all of the objects in front of him meaning that everything would remain the same and not move one bit. He can do whatever with these things. Women are people. He was walking among them and felt attracted to their female bodies. He took off their clothes and began drawing them. He didn't just undress the woman. He also did the same with all the other ladies in the shop and created their portraits. He noticed his boss had also been frozen after he made the paintings. Ben then took his boss and placed him in front of a drop milk bottle. Then he went outside to unfreeze his time. Then we saw Ben's childhood. We discovered why he was so drawn to female bodies. He loved female bodies. We found out that their childhood home was also home to a girl. She was always completely naked when she went to her bedroom. She would do it in front Ben's bedroom. This was something Ben would always love. Then Ben shared some details about his life. He explained that he and Sean, one of his best friends, would donate money to the senior girl at their school to help her watch her intimate parts. The girl would then take the money and show them her private parts. Natalie was the name of the girl. These two friends once crossed the limit. He was at Sean's house. They also read adult magazines from Sean's parents. Sean's mom arrived. They ran out of the room and took the magazines with them. Sean's mom saw that Sean's penis was difficult, and she began to punish them. The two children then moved their shoulders like they didn't understand anything. We saw Ben his boss and his colleagues playing football against the opposing team. Despite Ben's team trying so hard, they lost every match so badly. The ball was hit by Ben's boss when a player shot it towards Ben. The ball hit Ben and he freezes. He went to the bathroom and got a drink. He then saw another man who could move in frozen time. Ben couldn't see his face, so he ran outside. Ben realized that not everyone can move in frozen times. We saw that Ben's boss was very ill when he emerged in unfroze time. We saw that Sharon and Ben were on a date. Ben dropped Sharon off at Sharon's home after the date. Sharon then kissed Ben before she entered the home. She then entered the house. We saw Matt and Barry on the other side. A hot girl stood in front of the cash register. The girl purchased an adult toy by herself and then they reacted as if she had bought it for them. We found out that Ben's boss had planned a party for him on his birthday to forget about the loss. He invited his entire staff as well as some of his personal guests. Sharon then asked Ben to be her date at the party. Ben agreed, as this is an opportunity for every man that a girl asks him to be her date. The other side, Barry, Ben's friend and Matt called Ben to inform him that he was the owner of an art gallery. They made an appointment for him and asked him to bring all his paintings to the office. Before entering the party, Ben informed Sharon of this and they went. They then saw that so many people were at the party. Their boss called them a stripper. Ben was familiar with the stripper. After seeing her, Ben became a little concerned. Natalie was her name. This was the same girl Sean and Ben gave money to to see her privates. Ben's ex-girlfriend was also present at the party. Susie was her name. She broke up with Ben shortly before the movie began. Susie was Ben's girlfriend. That's why Susie was invited to the party. Susie apologized to Ben for their past and the wrong she did to him. Susie then kissed Ben. Ben couldn't comprehend what was happening. He pushed Sharon away because he didn't understand what was going on. Sharon wanted to dance with Ben. Sharon noticed that Susie Susie was kissing Ben and became mad at him. Ben saw Sharon leave the party and he froze. He couldn't reverse time. He froze because of that. He unfroze the time once more. Sharon then left the party. Ben visited Sharon's house the next night to express his regret. Sharon became so mad at Ben that she shouted at her so much and told him to go and close the door. Ben returned to the store the next day and saw Sharon's chair empty. This meant Sharon had left her job due to Ben. Ben was so anxious about this that he decided to go to the art gallery. After Ben had gone to the gallery, Matt and Barry pranked him with a call from the art gallery, but he believed it was real and went to the gallery. The owner then asked him why he invited him. However, 
Since you are here, I can show you your drawings, his drawings impress the owner of the art gallery. The owner organized an exhibition for Ben's drawings, then returned home, and sent Sharon an invitation to his exhibition. Sharon was shocked to see Ben's paintings on the walls of the art exhibition. All the paintings were Sharon's. She realized that Ben had created these paintings for Sharon. Sharon then congratulated Ben in a new style. Sharon kissed Ben, then was attracted to females, so he froze in the moment to enjoy it. Sharon was able to move in the frozen time. Ben went outside to join Sharon. After they had walked outside in the snow, they kissed one another. This beautiful scene was the end of the movie. Don't forget to let me know what you think about today's video by commenting below. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.